Okay, hello everyone. Hi, how are you? This is Kay. And this is the 26th of February, uh, 2023 on Sunday. So today I will be sharing my analysis on the Forex pairs and gold, WTI, index, and also the Bitcoin, and also the news for this week. So let's review the markets together and discuss what we can expect uh, this week to happen. Well, actually, uh, I have screen charts already, and I can see that there are some potential uh, Kumo breakouts on the daily time frames. So uh, yeah, let's review and uh, let's look for the best forex pairs to trade this week. So yeah, before I start now, um, let me say hi to everyone. So yeah, let's see who's here. Okay, I start to see more comments now. Thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. Okay, Christopher and Gabby, thank you for joining. And Ashish and uh, um, yeah, let's see. Party, good to see you. And uh, Artemio, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. And Soma, Levinas, and Oli, Emeka, and uh, Juwita, Photo, and uh, yeah, Party again. And Win, good to see you too. Thank you so much for joining everyone. Okay, so uh, yeah, today uh, we since we have lots of pairs, lots of markets to cover, let me just write into the markets and share my analysis. So first, let me cover the Forex pairs on my watch list. I have these are 21 pairs on my watch list. So first, let me cover from Euro USD all the way down to the Swiss franc JPY. So as I mentioned, uh, we will see some uh, new, I think there, are, there will be some new trends because uh, we see a potential daily breaks on many pairs. So again, this is, my name is Kay and uh, I am a um, Forex trader, mainly I trade Forex and uh, I do use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo in higher time frames to uh, to see which market is uh, trending and which market is uh, the best to trade. Every day, I screen chart three times to five times and uh, I select uh, best pairs to trade uh, every week. And this is Sunday, the markets are closed, but um, I do still see charts and uh, see the potential uh, breakouts and potential uh, new trends. And that's what I do as my routine uh, every Sunday or every weekend. Even before I start YouTube, that was, my, that was my routine. And that's something I share every Sunday in my YouTube channel. So again, here is the Euro USD. Today I will screen based on the daily time frame. But uh, Euro USD has a potential Kumo breakout. So there is, um, this is the candlestick on Friday. USD was really strong and this pair, Euro USD as currency, it's going down. So once the Kumo breaks, then we have a new support which is 1.0484. And this support from the 6th of January is actually the previous resistances too. So I think the, once the market breaks Kumo, it may be supported and uh, once it push back, but then I think in long term, it breaks and goes down this way. So once the market breaks Kumo and breaks the support, again 1.0484, I will be looking for the setting setup. So Euro USD is I think a potential nice downtrend this week. And next is the Euro AUD. Euro AUD broke the Kumo, broke the resistance, and then there is another resistance very close, which is 1.5751. So, uh, and Kumo itself is flat. There is, this is Kumo, uh, single span B and single span A are both flat at the moment. And Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen are up and down. So this is basically range in market. So Friday broke the resistance level of 1.5650, but this may become fake and Monday, Tuesday 
maybe the retracement. Uh, because again, Kumo flat and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are also flat right now. So until the market breaks the second previous high, which is 1.5751, we have to stay away. So I would put up a row above the resistance level and look for the setup to buy. Okay, so now let me move on to Euro JPY. Euro JPY uh, Friday was also bullish because of the weak JPY. And um, Kumo is now twisted bullish. And after that Kumo breakout, the market tested the single span B and now it's going up. So I think the market is bullish. And I think once the market breaks the resistance level of 144.15, then I think goes up to, I think the market goes up to uh, up here, uh, 146.73. So that will be the target. So I will, I'm buy biased on the Euro JPY also. Okay, next one is the Euro Pound. Euro Pound has been ranging now, and Kumo itself is uh, still flat. Single span A is up, single span B is up. But overall, Kumo is still flat. And um, Kijun Sen is up, but there is technically um, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen dead cross on Friday. And also, in terms of the price action, this is the reverse in the wave. So the market may break Kumo and move down too. But at this stage, we never know. It may be bullish or bearish. We can't tell this week. So most likely, I stay away from this pair. And next is the Euro CAD. Euro CAD is also ranging now. Kumo flat completely and Kijun Sen flat too. So um, I'm still waiting for the break of the Kumo and also the support, which is 1.4232. And then we'll uh, prepare to sell. So I continue to keep down arrow below the support level like this. So that I know once it breaks, I look for the setting setup. So that's uh, Euro CAD. So whenever like this, whenever I see flat Kumo flat Kijun Sen, I stay away. So it's really simple. So next one is a Euro Swiss franc. This one also flat Kumo flat Kijun Sen. So I continue to stay away. I was actually waiting for the break of the support of 0 0.9848. Then I thought the market goes down. But um, it just pulling back now. It's just retracing. And Chikou Span is now touching also. So this is range overall. So most likely uh, the market spikes. And the lower time frames may be very tricky. Especially this is also the Swiss franc pair. So I think the lower time frames may be very spiky. And most likely I will stay away from this one. So among the Euro pairs, I think the Euro USD looks good. So let me check the mark on the ones that I think it's good. Euro USD and Euro AUD also looks good once it breaks that resistance of uh, 1.5751 and Euro JPY also potential bullishness a uh, 144.15 breakout will be a nice one and Euro Pound range, Euro CAD is range and Euro Swiss franc is also range so now let me move on to the USD base pairs. So again, thank you very much for joining everyone. Good to see you. This is Sunday on the 26th in February. So I hope you're having a great weekend. So now I'm doing a weekly forecast on Forex pairs based on the daily time frame. So next one is the USD JPY. USD JPY also has a potential Kumo breakout. So this one is also nice. Once it breaks the Kumo, I think the market goes up to 138.17 and 139.58. So I will put up a row above the Kumo like this. So I'm boo biased on USDJPY. Especially this Kumo breakout becomes significant because the Kumo was thick and it broke. So um, sometimes Kumo gets very thin and the market breaks the thin part of the Kumo, but then the Kumo breakout may be a, a bit weak. But here, the Kumo was thick, and the market broke the thick part of the Kumo, 
and uh, the breakout would be significant and I think the market continues to be bullish. So I will definitely look for the buying edge on the USDJPY. And next is the USCCAD. This one is uh, bullish though. Uh, this is a bit retracing and a bit spiky. If you look at the candles, uh, so many weeks up and down. And uh, Thursday was doji, Friday broke the doji bullish. So I think the market goes up to the resistance level of uh, 1.3704. But uh, until the market reaches that price level, I think it spikes. I think the market spikes and then it finally reaches there. So I think the best option on this one is to wait for the resistance breakout. 1.3704 breakout and buy it would be a safer option. So and the breakout may not happen uh, this week because this is really spiky. So we'll see. And next one is uh, USC Swiss franc. This one is also another potential Kumo breakout. So like this, we have lots of Kumo breakout on the daily time frame. And that's why I wanted to explain based on the daily time frame today. Usually on the weekends, I, I use the weekly time frame to forecast. But today is an exception because of the potential Kumo breakouts. So uh, USC Swiss franc near the resistance now. Uh, 0 0.9409 once it breaks I think it goes up so I will keep my eye on this one too and pound USD also has a potential Kumo break this is bearish and when it breaks the Kumo and breaks support of uh, 1.1837 I think the next target is uh, way down all the way down to uh, 1.1402 and I say 1.1402, this uh, this blue line here, because um, and you may wonder why, because there is no supports in this area. There is no flat Kijun Sen, flat Senko Span B. But this is my target, 1.1402, because of the weekly time frame. A weekly time frame Kijun Sen is here, and that's why, oops, sorry, that's why uh, this is my target. This is called the Kijun Sen retracement strategy. When Kijun Sen flat, on which were time frames, when Kijun Sen flat, most likely the market comes back to Kijun Sen because that's the Ichimoku nature. And especially after the break of 1.1837, this support was actually the support of this uh, doji. There, there is a long week. And open price, close price, the same price. This is called the doji or pin bar support. So there's a st strong uh, stop loss orders for the buyers since this date, since this week. So uh, that's why once the stop loss is triggered, I think the market goes down. Sellers will follow and goes down. That's one of the reasons. And also this is double top and the neckline is also 1.1837. So once the market breaks that level, I think that will be a great chance to sell. So and daily also about to break the Kumo. So I think so far, pound USD looks the best to trade. So let me mark this one as uh, as uh, let's see uh, blue as the best pair so far. But uh, yeah, we may see some other uh, good pairs, good uh, valid breakouts so let me continue my analysis on other pairs so i'm halfway through now so let me go to to the end of pound pairs first so next is a pound jpy pound jpy broke the kumo once and then retraced to the previous resistances and then now it's out of the kumo again so that means if the market breaks the resistance which is 163.73 then I think the market goes up strong. So I'm waiting for that breakout to happen. And the target on this one is up to here, 169.30. So pound JPY also looks good to trade, to buy uh, this week. 
And next is a pound CAD. Pound CAD has been ranging now. Again, come on flat. And Kijun Sen flat completely. So for the last three days, uh, since Wednesday to Friday, it has been downtrend. But um, it may be bullish anytime soon, or it may range for a couple more weeks. So pound CAD, I think I will just stay away. Unless the market breaks support of 1.6075, I continue to stay away. So I would just in case put down a row below the support. Okay, next is the pound AUD. Pound AUD is now range. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. And the Kumo breakout may happen. But uh, this is, first of all, a very spiky market. And um, even if the market breaks Kumo, um, this is overall has been the reversed in the wave. So the Kumo breakout may be fake in this case, unless the market breaks uh, resistance. And then the market may go down or it may range. So um, yeah, in this situation, I don't feel comfortable to be in a trade on pound AUD. But we'll see. I will check charts anyways every day and uh, see which one I can trade. But pound AUD, I don't mark because I find other better pairs to trade. So next one is pound Swiss franc. Pound Swiss franc is the same as, pretty much the same as uh, pound AUD. Uh, this is, um, yeah, it's on the, it was sub resisted by the Kijun Sen. And uh, there was a um, W bottom neckline breakout. But uh, this may be fake because we have so many wicks near that neckline. So unless the market breaks the Kijun Sen, I think the market ranges. And since this is Swiss franc, I think uh, it will spike anyways. So I think I will just stay away. I was expecting downtrend last week, but the breakout of the support didn't happen. So I, in this case, I will delete down a roll and I will delete this target. I will only monitor chart for now. Okay, so next, AUD USD. This one is also about to break the Kumo. So like this, we have so many potential Kumo breakouts on daily time frame. So um, yeah, so this is, um, yeah, the there was a doji break reversed in the wave. So this is bearish. There was a head on the shoulders and the neckline was, uh, was broken down. So this is bearish. I think the market goes down to 0 0.6630 uh, this week. So that will be my target. So since, about, since the market about to break the Kumo, I mark this one too. So next is the AUDCAD. This one again is about to break the Kumo. So I expected downtrend last week, as you can see down arrow, and still this is uh, this is a downtrend. So I wait for the Kumo breakout. But in this one, after the Kumo breakout, there is a support level here. Uh, this is 0 0.9044. So if the breakout happens close to the support, we have to wait for the break and then look for the selling setup. Otherwise, it will be reverse and you may get stopped out. But yeah, this will be this can be in a new downtrend. So I mark this one too. Okay, so next is the AUDJPY. AUDJPY has been ranging, no trend, Kumo flat. Or Kumo Senko Span A is up, Senko Span B is flat, and, but overall Kumo is just expanding, so this is considered to be the flat Kumo. So we have to wait until the Senko Span B remains more flat and Senko Span A remains up to make the better bullish Kumo. And market is now retracing, and the Kijun Sen is up, but uh, this Kijun Sen up may be fake because of the retracement after double top on a daily time frame. So yeah, most likely we won't have any chance to trade on this one. I think the best option for this is to wait for the break of 93.003 uh, to buy. 
but this is looking a bit too spiky, so most likely I stay away. Okay, next is the AUD Swiss franc. AUD Swiss franc broke the Kumo, so this is now bearish. This is now bearish, and uh, the price we have to wait for the break of the support, which is uh, 0 0.6300. Wait for the support breakout, and then the next target for this week is uh, the doji support, which is 0 0.6203. Once it breaks it, then it goes to the swing low of uh, 0 0.6162 level. So this is all another downtrend potential, so I mark this one too. Okay, so next one is um, CDJPY. Okay, again, CADJPY is about to break the Kumo 2 on a daily time frame. Um, Kumo is already twisted, and uh, there is a resistance level of 130, uh, and also 101.2. So if you can wait for the break of these resistances, I think there will be a new uptrend. So yeah, CADJPY is also something that we can all watch together. And the target is uh, here, a 105.82. So cat JPY also looks good. Okay, next is the cat Swiss franc. This one has been ranging, so no direction. I was expecting the market breaks a resistance, but uh, since Kumo Flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen are together now, and Chikou Span too close, I think this week will be range. So, yeah, most likely I stay away from this one this week. And lastly, Swiss franc JPY. It broke the Kumo and then now retraced. It has retraced uh, back to the previous resistance level of 143.73. So, and Friday was, Friday was bullish candlestick. So, I think the market goes up uh, this week and target to 147.81 or uh, to sorry to 148.53 will be the potential target so Swiss from JPY I mark this one too so like this we have lots of potential trends in the markets so let's see which one breaks Kumo and then um, uh, we see some new trends after that Okay, so that completes my analysis on the forex pairs based on Ichimoku and the Kumo breakout on a daily time frame. Okay, so ready to move on to the another pairs, another markets. So from now, I will cover gold, WTI, and index, and also BTC USD. So yeah, let's move on. So now let me switch to the commodity XAUUSD. So again, XAUUSD is about to break the Kumo too, and that part of the Kumo is really thick here. Whenever you see the thick part of the Kumo breakout, this becomes significant. So I think the market goes down this week, and uh, I wait for the setting edge on gold. I have been waiting for the setting chance on gold, but haven't been able to capture because I couldn't find the trading edge based on the lower time frames. In terms of the price actions, it was a bit choppy. But the Friday broke the previous uh, support, so I think uh, we will see some new downtrend um, this week. So gold, I will mark this one too, to prepare for setting edge this week. Yeah, there has been a nice reverse in the wave reversed in the waves in the Kumo breakout. And Kumo itself has been twisted already, so I think this is a new downtrend. So let's see how far the market goes down. Okay, next is a WTI. WTI crude oil has been ranging now, so no direction. I said that this, has, this may be downtrend, but it didn't break the support of 72.36 but instead, this is now retracing, so most likely I stay away. No trend because of the very small and tiny Kumo, 
and Kijun Sen flat. So the market has been just ranging, and this week we never know which way it goes. So we have to stay away from this one for now. So now let me move on to index. So for index, I cover Nikkei and uh, US indices and Euro indices and Nifty, Nifty 50 and AU200 and Hansen. So as for the index, I will cover the weekly time frame. Okay, so now first let me start from Nikkei 2 to 5. Okay, Nikkei 2 to 5 has been ranging still on the weekly time frame. This is still in the P wave, the um, lower highs and higher lows. So this is the P wave. There was a bit overshoot, but overall this is within the P wave still. So and Kumo is completely flat. Kijun Sen is pointing down, and uh, Tenkan Sen below Kijun Sen, Chikou Span touching. So this is range. But in terms of the P wave um, in the price action, I think the market goes down to the support of the P wave. I mean this yellow line. I think the market goes down uh, for the next couple of weeks. So that's why I put I put down a row. Uh, last week. So I think um, the market goes down and then up and see which way it breaks the P wave. But for now, uh, we we don't know which way which way it breaks. There's no clue. Okay, so now let me move on to US index. So Dow Jones. Dow Jones last week was bearish. Yeah, it was bearish and uh, there is no trend in the weekly time frame. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span is touching, and um, yeah, but in terms of Ichimoku, it's range, but in terms of price actions, I think this is bearish, because um, there were three doji candles, and doji candle support was broken last week, and this may be the sign of the new downtrend. And this was also double top, and neckline was here on um, 32, 467. So once the neckline breaks, I think the market goes down to Kijun Sen, 31, 757. So I will put down a roll below the support. In terms of Ichimoku nature, whenever you see Kijun Sen flat, uh, that's where, where the market potentially retraces. So um, whenever you see Kijun Sen flat, Kijun Sen acts like a magnet to the candles. So I think the market goes down to the Kijun Sen this week or next week. So next is um, Nasdaq. Nasdaq uh, was bearish last week also, but overall it's still ranging now. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen. Tenkan Sen are uh, now gold crossing, and this is the end of downtrend. The gold cross below Kumo, and Chikou Span touching, so this is completely ranging now. So the best option for now is to wait for the breakout of this inside bar. You see, there is an inside. This candlestick, high and low, has been including three future candles. In this case, you can't trade by the Ichimoku, but you can trade based on the price actions. So if the market breaks the support and Tenkan Sen on the weekly, I think it goes down to the support. But if it breaks the resistance of that inside, then it goes into Kumo and then it may break the Kumo upwards. So let's see which way, which way breaks. Uh, in the month of uh, February or March. Okay, next is uh, S&P 500. This one is also bearish, and this one actually broke the inside bar bearish. So S&P 500 is more more bearish to me, in terms of the price actions. So the market may reach down to the Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen is now down, but uh, next week. 
sorry, this week and next week, Kijun Sen will be flat, and the price may retrace to Kijun Sen. So in the short term, this is bearish. But in the long term, it may be bullish. So we'll see. We have to see the Kumo breakout to be bullish anyways. So next is uh, Euro stocks. Euro stocks on the weekly was bearish last week, but um, this is still above the Tenkan Sen. Kumo is bullish. It's a, it's a bullish sign. Kijun Sen flat now, but the Tenkan Sen up. So it's close from above candles. So this is bullish. So still the market may reach uh, 43.97.3, the previous resistance level. Okay, next is uh, FTSE 100. Uh, this market is also bullish. After the breakout of the resistances, now price above the Tenkan Sen, Kumo is uptrending and the Chikou span above candles. In terms of the price action, there was, um, there was a doji break, outside bar and doji break, and then now we have inside. So if you want to buy on this one, uh, you better wait for the break of the out of the inside, a zero fifty one point four nine, and then that will be a new uptrend. So we'll see. But uh, potentially happens because this is bullish based on Tenkan Sen and the Kumo situation. So next is CAC France. So CAC France uh, was about to break the resistance, but then, um, yeah, last week was bearish. But just like FTSE 100, this one is also bullish. Kumo is bullish, Kijun Sen flat, but the price above Tenkan Sen, Tenkan Sen is also up, and Chikou Span above, can, above the candles. So um, yeah, the market is about to break that resistance, and we may see some new uptrend. Okay, so next one is um, yeah, German 40, DAX index. DAX is still, still bullish, just like FTSE 100 CAC France, still Tenkan Sen up, Kumo is bullish, Chikou Span above candles, so in the long term, uh, this market is still bullish. Yeah, and uh, there was a pin bar, and then bullish candlestick, and now bearish. So, yeah, you may want to wait for the pin bar breakout to be safer, uh, 15,663.5 breakout. And then the market may reach to the swing high, 16,292.9. So next is the Nifty chart, Nifty 50. This one is, uh, last week was bearish. And it looks like it's about to break the support of 17,357.05. So as I mentioned before, we have to wait for the breakout towards either direction to follow. So either the breakout of 17,357 or 18,268. So, so far this is ranging market. Kumo is flat. Senko span A, the upper part of the Kumo is retracing because the market is downtrend in the short term. And Chikou span touching. So in the short term, this is downtrend, but in the long term, this is range. We can't tell which way it goes in the long term. And next is um, AU200. Uh, this market is now downtrend. Um, the market reached uh, Tenkan Sen, 7200, as I mentioned last week. So now target is the Kijun Sen, 6961.3. So this is currently bearish. Okay, and lastly, Hansen index. Hansen is also retracing, and now target is 18653.3. 0.81. This is now downtrend. Okay, so I will just uh, 
keep down arrow like this to the Kijun Sen so that I remember. Okay, so that completes also, sorry, uh, let me cover the Bitcoin, BTC USD. So Bitcoin on the weekly still ranging now um, in terms of Ichimoku, Kumo is flat, Senko Span B flat, A flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat, and Chikou Span still very close. So this is still ranging. So like I mentioned before, we have to wait for the breakout of the resistance, 25,280 level. Then we may see some new uptrend. And with that in mind, if you check the daily with Ichimoku on this one, daily is now ranging too, because it broke that uh, Kijun Sen. If the market was supported by the Kijun Sen last week, it moves up, then there was a good chance that the market breaks that resistance. But since the market broke the Kijun Sen already, it may retrace or it may range. Chikou Span touching also, so there is no direction in the market at this moment. So uh, I recommend you to you to stay away, and if you want to buy this one, then uh, you have to wait for the resistance breakout. So that is my analysis on BTC USD. So yeah, now that completes my analysis on these all the pairs, all the markets. So now uh, let me remind everyone about the news. So we are towards the end of the month and the new week in March, we have lots of big news. So just as a reminder, I will pick um, the high impact ones that you have to watch out. Because uh, from Monday already, we have some news. On Monday, the 27th, when the market opens in New Zealand, there is a uh, retail sales New Zealand. And also in Japan, there will be governor uh, nominee weather speech there. So the impact the market also. JPY might be sold on that news. We'll see. And then um, towards the end of uh, Monday, also some couple of news in the US. And Tuesday the 28th, there will be retail sales in Australia. And uh, gross domestic product GDP in Switzerland. And on another GDP annualized in Canada. Okay, and then, uh, hold on, let me see. Let me put this uh, this week. Click apply. Okay. And um, March 1st, there will be um, another uh, monthly CPI and GDP report in uh, Australia. And then uh, another uh, Governor Bailey speech in UK and CPI in Germany and ISM PMI, uh, manufacturing PMI in the US. And Thursday, March 2nd, uh, we have uh, core CPI in Euro. And uh, Friday, the March 3rd, we have um, we have one big news, which is ISM services PMI in the US. So like this, we have a couple of big news. So just watch out before the big news. We have to stay away and come back after afterwards, is my opinion. But Wednesday will be the big, I think. Wednesday, especially this, uh, yeah, ISM manufacturing PMI in the US might be big. And also uh, core harmonized index of customer prices in Euro on Friday. I think this news can be a very uh, big impact. So yeah, that, that, that's a watch out. Okay, so that completes my whole things I wanted to cover today. So for the next uh, 10 minutes or so, uh, let me say hi to everyone. And uh, yeah, let me, let me check some comments. But again, thank you very much for joining everyone. Great to see you as always. And uh, I appreciate your support as always on what I do on my YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, let me see. 
Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining today. Good to see you. Okay, uh, Sudesh uh, says, uh, Hi, K, after Kumon breakout, do you take entry at the breakout point or after breakout retracement of resistance or the Kumo? Um, so, yeah, at the time of the Kumo breakout, I wait for a couple of other confirmations in the lower time frames to take trades. Or I would wait for the next support level breakout uh, to sell or buy after the Kumo breakout. Yeah, okay. Tin says, why do you choose to trade Forex over stocks or cryptos? Is there a particular reason for it or just ended up that way? Oh, just ended up that way. Yeah, because I have been trading Forex for the last 10 years and I know uh, what's going on in the Forex market and that's why I only trade Forex. Forex pairs has been my profession, so I only trade Forex. I have been actually looking for uh, an opportunity in stock market, in index, US index, but as you saw earlier, the market has been retracing and choppy, ranging, so uh, no chance yet for me. But uh, when I see some new trend, new uptrend in US index, I'm thinking of buy and hold in the long, long term. Okay, uh, let me see. So I have pretty much covered all the markets. So in case you miss one of these, please watch the archive. Uh, but let me check some other uh, comments here. Um, Jack says, uh, do you use volumes or RSI or just Ichimoku? Oh, I do use the Bollinger Bands and the Stochastic in lower time frames when I have to when I want to look for a specific entry timing, I use the stochastic. But I don't use the Bollinger Bands, I don't use the volumes or RSI. For higher time frames, I only use Ichimoku. Yeah, for higher time frames, I only use Ichimoku and the price actions. Okay, Henry says, uh, good day K, good day everyone. This is Henry from Nigeria. Thanks for joining. Good to see you. Your in-depth analysis of the assets are excellent. You are a wonderful teacher and a scholar in Ichimoku world. Stay gold. Oh, thank you very much. Stay gold. Thank you very much for your comment. Okay, CO says, um, why BOJ keeps late when weak? Uh, that, let me create another video and explain. Uh, but yen has been weak, that's for sure. I'm short on yen pairs. I mean, I'm short on um, yen itself. So the USD yen, USD JPY, Euro JPY, I'm bull biased. I think these markets will go up, I think. Okay, Men says, how long will it take to become profitable in one hour chart based on price action with no indicators? Uh, I'm not sure because I have no experience in one hour chart only and price actions only. I have been using Ichimoku only, so um, I don't know. Okay, Tin says, so for the overall trend, it will be daily 4 hour. I've noticed you've seen uh, took to look at uh, weak lines uh, sometimes too. Right, so yeah, so for those who newly joined today's analysis, let me do the recap. So in terms of the forex pairs, I think the best one is pound USD. Because pound USD has double top and the neckline here uh, one point 1837 after the Kumo break when the neckline break happens I think we have a new downtrend so pound USD looks the best but we do see some other pairs potential Kumo breakout like a euro USD is also a potential Kumo break 
and euro AUD also like this potential breakout of that resistance on this one and euro JPY about to break that resistance now and USD JPY also break the Kumo almost you see Swiss franc also the Kumo breakout potentially and pound JPY also potential uh, resistance break after the Kumo breakout now and the AUD USD about to break the Kumo also and the AUD CAD also about to break the Kumo and the AUD Swiss franc also about to break the Kumo too about to break the Kumo and the support and the CAD JPY also yeah about to break Kumo and the Swiss franc JPY too it broke the Kumo and then was supported by the previous resistance and to me this is bullish this is now bullish uptrend. So like this, we have lots of uh, potential new trends in the markets. So that's what I see here now. Okay, Muhammad says, uh, do you think gold has already sank a gyakuten? Uh, gold has, um, hold on, let me, yeah, gold is not yet the sank gyakuten because the price did not close below the Senko Span B. Whenever you see the breakout, you have to uh, wait for the break, you have to wait for the close price, close becomes below the Senko Span B. So I think most likely Monday, it breaks the Kumo. And we may see the new downtrend on gold. Okay. Okay, Tin says a uh, higher time frame chart just a more normalized version of the lower time frame charts. Uh yeah, higher time frames has less noise than lower time frames. Yeah. So Ichimoku works better in higher time frames because it's less spiky. Okay, uh, Party says, uh, I want to learn Ichimoku how to read the chart using it. Do you have any videos on it? Yes, I have uh, 1 to 5 Ichimoku video series. So you can watch these videos. And if you're more interested in the depths of Ichimoku, then you're always welcome to join my Ichimoku community membership. You can, uh, if you see join button on YouTube, that's where you can join. My Ichimoku membership. This is where I I uh, share the Ichimoku five lines and Ichimoku theories. Yeah, in KTS Academy and GTS, I teach more into the practical methods like the risk management, psychology management, and multiple time frame multiple time frames analysis and so on. So yeah, let me continue to cover some more comments. Yeah, thanks so much for joining everyone. Good to see you again. Men says, what broker do you use for Forex and do you use leverage? Yes, I do use leverage. I use leverage up to 20. Yeah, I have been using the broker which I have been using in Japan. Okay, let me see. Parma says, uh, you have a great view Workplace, apartment, is it yours or rent? How much rent price? Uh, you can actually see my second channel and you can have the more explanation of where I live. There I have actually the second second uh, YouTube channel. This is my first main channel, but there's a second one. You can actually access it to the second channel from the link on the description. That's where I share my lives and sometimes something besides trace i share the videos there and i did some room tour on my apartment too okay so uh yeah let me see let me see oh steve says you never use hosoda waves theory i do i do use hosoda waves theory but that's for my overall analysis when it comes to chapter exact entry timings I use the 5 minute with bondage bands RSI and Fibonacci and uh, price actions uh, to have a better risk and the reward ratio and that is my original strategy 
So I combine with uh, Ichimoku original strategy with my original strategy so that I can balance between higher to lower time frame uh, analysis and trades. Okay, so I think uh, time's up now, so I will end the live for now. But uh, thank you everyone for joining again. It has been a nice discussion, nice talk through the chat as always. So uh, I hope you have a great, great uh, weekend, the rest of the weekend. And hopefully we can capture some nice pips uh, this week from tomorrow. So to those who are KTS Academy members and GTS members, I will be doing deeper level analysis uh, based on the lower and higher time frames after this in about 10 minutes. So I will see you there. Otherwise, I will see you sometime next week. So I hope you have a great weekend. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you very much.